Nash had to love the effort out of his squad and moments ago he met the media our Michael Grady was on deck with the first question. Hey coach given you know the way your team had been playing headed in and all the talk about the rebounding and the turnovers and then the Kevin news how satisfying is the win like this? Well it certainly feels great obviously uh, you know but win or lose just the the effort the connectivity you know the things that we try to build on every day you know, that that collective fighting spirit you know you could see it it was uh, a pleasure to watch and and to coach and uh, proud of the guys you know we've had a little bit of a you know a, a, a tough run and a, and a little bit of a cloud forming over us and guys put it aside tonight and played really hard played together and uh, and it was a great performance can you take us through what went into the decision to shake up the starting lineup this evening? You know, it's uh, just being clairvoyant, and uh, no, no, we just. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, we we don't have much practice time. We are a new group. We have Kevin out with COVID protocols. We were struggling, and and uh, I think we're going to continue to experiment. You know, we have to find out who we are, what we are, and where we need to improve. And sometimes. You know, just giving guys different opportunities at different times, you know, can mix things up and we'll, we'll see different lineups, you know. So, um, you know, really proud of everyone for accepting that change and that dynamic and and coming together and just playing their butts off for one another. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Steve, can you in particular uh, address the impact that Jared Allen made at both ends of the court tonight? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, you know, I, th I mean, he, uh, he he did it all. I mean, he, he he rebounded. He protected the basket. We put he got a lot of had a lot of pressure on him protecting the basket. Um, he, he blocked shots. He got steals, and you know, he was just so impactful. Incredible energy, effective. Scored in traffic. Scored through contact. Um, just did did it all. So. You know, really, really proud of him, and uh, we've seen him continue to develop. And tonight, you know, was a phenomenal game against a top, top quality team and a top quality center. Brian Lewis, New York Post. I apologize if you were asked this at the start, um, but I mean, could you just discuss what Bruce gave you defensively? I mean, I know obviously perimeter defense has been an issue. What did he provide? Yeah, I thought he did great. He played with energy and, and toughness. Um, you know, I, I thought it was the hustle plays. Just, you know, he 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 got some rebounds, he got some assists. Um, you know, and and was just engaged. And so I just thought it was great for him coming off of no minutes to be able to play with that type of engagement and concentration was a, a tribute to him and uh, his character. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, piggybacking off of that question, um, you know, obviously part of missing Spencer is his ability to handle the ball and kind of just like orchestrating the offense. We saw a little bit out of, a little bit out of that from Bruce today. Uh, would you say that is important in just having another guy who can handle the ball out there alongside Kyrie? And what did you think of just him and Kyrie playing out there together today? Like they were kind of just like in sync out there on the floor. Yeah, it was, it was good. I, like I said, I thought he was engaged and, and played hard and, and did a little bit of everything. And, you know, I, that more than anything is brings value. Um, you know, uh, you know, without Kevin out there, it's it's nice to have more guys who can handle the ball. Um, and uh, I, I just thought he was tough and competed and and knew knew the game plan and and all those little things that count for winning basketball. Alex Schiffer, the Athletic. Hey Steve, after the last game, you said how the you know three of your biggest issues was the defensive miscues, the turnovers, and the rebounding, and and all three were. were you know, went pretty well for you guys tonight. I guess what what was the biggest difference in from last game with those three areas? You know, I, I, like I said last game, I, I think we're going to turn the ball over some. But la last game, it was it was uncharacteristic. We were turning the ball over without any pressure. Um, we were just making poor decisions. I thought I felt like there was just such a um, we were holding it so tight, and then you know just making uncharacteristic decisions. Uh, tonight, we cleaned that up, which I thought was more normal for us. Uh, you know, I, I thought the rebounding, especially in the first half, was, well, I guess it was pretty even. I mean, they, I think they had four offensive rebounds in both halves. Um, you know, so gang rebounding, the diligence to get in in, in numbers, you know, is something that has to become a habit for our team. 
Um, you know, Jeff, I think playing at the four a little bit maybe helped the rebounding as, as well to give us some, some size. So, you know, just much improved. Um, but like win or lose, for them to play with that connectivity and that fighting spirit, you know, it's a pleasure to coach and I'm just really proud of them for their attitude and the way they approach the game under, you know, you know, missing Kevin and coming off a, a rough stint where, you know, I felt like maybe we were questioning ourselves a little bit early in the season and feeling pressure unnecessarily. And uh, tonight they came out and handled it incredibly well.